Hello and welcome to As Failed on TV. I gotta be honest with you guys, I've been at a bit of an impasse lately. Not creatively, I mean, I got a new book releasing soon, and I just finished the first issue of my webcomic, and I've got a game that I'm gonna be game devving into a game soon. I'm talking existentially, man. I feel like, and this is crazy, I'm older now than I was seven years ago. Is that possible? Is that true? Have I really aged in that time? Like, I don't know about you, but I still like to think that I'm 22. But then there's days when I wake up with back pain and achy joints and I'm just like, oh fuck, I'm almost 30. So what I need to do is recapture what I was then so that I can feel young and spry like the fucking lion that I once was. Uh, maybe not a lion that sounds a bit aggressive. I don't know, what kind of animal was I when I was in my early 20s? Maybe like a, maybe like a penguin. Not an emperor penguin, that's too regal. Or like a, not like a chin strap penguin. Yeah, there we go, look at that little guy. Yeah, that's me. So in order to get back to that, I decided to go back to the roots of As Failed on TV, which is giggling at silly TV infomercials that are as earnest as they are unaware. A dear friend and a damned enemy sent me this video. I assume with the knowledge that it would one day end up here. This is Flavor Pro. Are you tired of the same old boring meal? I always took dinner for granted when I was a little kid because we had rotisserie chicken and mashed potatoes and corn a lot when I was young and that's because it's inexpensive, it could feed multiple people, and it lasts more than one night. And I remember thinking as a kid that it was really boring around here. Uh, little did I know how privileged I was, especially in comparison to these poor unfortunate souls. That's right, it's another tough night of solitude and sadness for the Grayscale family, sitting down to another miserable meal in their gaudy dining room, surrounding their small table with chairs made of wicker. Everything about this frame is incredible to me, there's so much going on. I love that they're all huddled around this tiny ass table just to get all four of them into the frame. Like, mom or dad couldn't have sat there. Like, why did the potatoes get their own place at the table? And what meal is so horrible that it has this entire family drowning in sorrow? I can't really tell what the slabs of flesh they're eating are, but it looks like dry steak. We got whole ass potatoes and... What is that, dryer lint? The mom looks upset, but she is going to town on that potato. There's nothing else on her plate. I understand you're gonna watch your carbs and your caloric intake, but are you really just gonna dead center cut into a potato like that? Just, oh yeah, I gotta check and make sure I like my potatoes medium rare. You're not gonna add anything to that? No butter, salt, pepper, nothing? Just, just one nascent potato? Look at the little girl. Why is there like nothing on her plate? Dad'll have a steak, mom'll have a potato, and you get a chicken nugget and a glass of water. What is this, Oliver Twist? Then you need the Flavor Pro, the amazing new kitchen miracle that lets you make delicious meals bursting with flavor. Whew, okay. There are times in life when people are called upon to do extraordinary things. And I feel like several opportunities to do that are gonna pop up for me today. And I don't think I'll be able to resist that call. Simply pour your favorite marinade into the Flexible Flavorizer. The Flexible Flavorizer looks like something Weird Al Yankovic would do a solo on in a polka remix. Place into the Flavor Pro and presto! Perfect. Now the chicken breast will have a high concentration of marinade, while the rest gets left to die in a sinewy desert of nothing. And to be fair, I've never cooked a whole ass bird before, and if my life goals hold out, I'll never have to. But aren't you supposed to baste the outside of the bird and flavor additives like stuffing and whatnot get put into the animal's already provided cavity? Boink, boink. So that way you don't have to make your own. I really enjoyed Thanksgiving at the Jameson's, but did you see the track marks on the turkey? I think it was using. Oh, and also, boink. Patented design lets you inject thick, savory sauces deep into meat. Oh, there's no way. <laughs> there's no fucking way. How is that not caught? 
Okay, this this had to be pitched, okay? This had to be at a very official meeting with very official people in very official business attire for business, and someone at that meeting had to earnestly say, inject thick savory sauce deep into meat, and nobody at that meeting then went, Maybe we should reconsider our wording. Flavor Pro an entire turkey or ham. Perfect form, no notes. Keep doing what you're doing. I could watch it for hours. A must for tailgating. A must, huh? Okay. Take a tailgating in Buffalo, New York and see how long it lasts before it ends up in the provided cavity of a Bills Mafia member as they go through a table. Use Flavor Pro to make fun-filled desserts in a flash. It looks like a science experiment. It's like the scene in a sci-fi movie where the pathogen gets injected with a syringe. I know what will take care of this contagion. Whipped cream. Make dreamy desserts, cream-filled cupcakes, and tasty eclairs. Yeah. Okay. So, if I was in charge of putting together a commercial for a product like this, there would have to be an existing knowledge of its... phallic similarity. You don't gotta be a prude, but is a woman's dead-eyed deeping of a dessert really the optics you're going for? Like the berries and the cupcakes, those looked okay, and I guess you could show eclairs if you really want to, but why? No. Oh. Messy garlic bread takes forever, but the flavor- Oh, honey. <laughs> you're doing great. Keep it up. Butter and chunky garlic quickly and easily for garlic bread that's bursting with flavor. <laughs> bursting with flavor? It's uncooked. This marinated meat took hours to prepare and costs over $35. $35? What? Where are you getting your rotisserie chicken? Ruth's Chris? This confounded me. So I went to walmart.com, and even though they chose not to sponsor me for this video, putting them alongside Arby's in the list of companies that are now dead to me, I'm still going to use them to illustrate my point. A lemon pepper rotisserie chicken is $7.97. A little bit less than $35. But, hey, maybe it isn't a rotisserie chicken in that container. It's tough to see what it actually is, even though the containers look similar. But it's fine because there's a sticker on that package and we can find out exactly what is inside. Meat. Meat. <laughs> I'll admit, bit vague there. Yes, hello, Mr. Butcher. I'd like one meat, please. That's an excellent choice, my good sir. That'll be $35, please. Oh, $35, okay. Is that the market price right now? For meat? Imagine you get the Deluxe Flavor Pro Package, which includes your bonus decorating kit, all for only $19.99. I always love it when infomercials do that. Imagine, imagine buying this product. Oh, okay. Oh, what a wonderful world of fantasy I have been isekai to. Here's a new anime series idea for you. It's called Itadakimasu. The main character's sauce accordion is overpowered. I'd watch the first episode. I guarantee you the fan service would be out of control. Next. Oh wait, that's for the other thing I do. I'm sorry. All for only $19.99. Order today. So that was Flavor Pro. I love everything about it. I haven't laughed this hard at a commercial in a long time. Earnest fake shit like this is better comedy than could ever be intentionally written. And as somebody that intentionally writes comedy videos, that stings. Thank you for watching this episode of As Failed on TV. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, like and subscribe. Inject the thick, savory interaction sauce deep into the algorithm's meat cavity. Special thanks to my patrons for their continued support. $2 and up patrons got to watch this video 24 hours before the rest of you even had access to it. And that's less than a lemon pepper rotisserie chicken at Walmart or a container of non-specific meat from non-specific grocery store. Links will be in the description that'll lead you to various content from me, including my books, my webcomic, Insta for art, Twitter for updates. Just look up Chris the Nerd 92. I'm bound to show up somewhere. So that's all I've got for today. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate you. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the next As Failed on TV.